Okay, we're back, and what I did, I wrote this out so instead of being in front of you, we can go over this. Uh, now, this is the um, uh, first order differential linear equation for the circuit. And uh, basically, the problem is, Carol had put it up on Facebook, was that when a simple <clears throat> electric circuit contains resistance R and inducting, inductance L in series, and that electromotive force E is impressed on it, the differential equation for the current I at any time is L times di over dt plus ri equals e. Again, e the constant for electromotive force. Solve this equation when e equals e zero, e at zero, and is a constant. So what we want to do is eliminate this coefficient, the L inductance, on the left side of the equation for the derivative di dt. So we'll solve the whole equation by L. That would give us di dt plus r over L times i rl being its coefficient equals e over L. Now if we recall the original equation format before we had epsilon times y when we were solving for y in, in, in relation to, to uh, dx. Now we're solving for i in relation to time. So di in relation to dt. So it would be epsilon i equals the integral of epsilon times q dt. In this case, q is el. And what we do is we'll go ahead and write it, the next line, when I substitute in for my factor, which is epsilon equals uh, exponent integral p dt, keeping in mind that in this case p is equal to r over l in the actual, in this equation. And so per equation 2, we're going to write this as an equation 3 and uh, substitute for epsilon. So we end up with, for epsilon we have in this equation, exponent r over l times t times i equals the integral of epsilon, again, e r over l times t times q, which is e l, e over l, dt. In this case, e l is a constant, so that's going to go outside the integral, and we're going to solve for t is a uh, relation to, if it's just related to time dt, changing the time. Okay? So, that being the case, we end up with I E R over L times T equals E L outside the, the uh, integral, integral times E R over L T dt. Now we'll solve the right hand side of that equation, which would give us equals E over L, reciprocal of L over R, E R over L T plus C. Okay? So, we'll write this again, which will equate out, again I'll equate it out and cancel out those L's, so that's going to give me E over R times exponent R L T plus C. Now I have an equation that's equal to I times exponent R over L times T equals E over R exponent R over LT plus C. Now I want to solve for I. So that means I want to get this uh, exponent off of I, let it slip up under. 
the other side of the uh, equal sign. So I is equal to E to the minus R L T times E over R E R over L T plus C. I activate this, let everything happen. So that factors up to this is actually uh, e to the minus r slash lt power is the same as saying 1 over e r times lt. Okay, so that being the case, the, the, uh, it's, it becomes e r over, uh, over l times t over e times r slash l over lt becomes 1. So that gives me, basically we have E R I'm just doing this in detail over E R slash L T okay times E R and this is distributed in this is distributed in on both sides of the plus sign. So that gives me E minus R over LT times C, which finally equates up to E over R plus E R over L T plus I'm sorry, times C. So, get down a little lower here, actually solve, put it all together. If we put it all together, we solve for I. I equals E over R plus E minus the minus R over L T times C. What I'm going to do is uh, erase this and pick up from here and finish solving the equations under the conditions of uh, e at zero at time at t at zero, time t at zero and solve for c then put that back in and solve the complete equation for i. We have to solve for c and then that will complete our equation solving for the current. So now we have our uh, initial equation, the final equation here, or well, penultimately, the penultimate equation is I equals E over R plus C times E to the minus RL times T power. Okay? So, um, we want to have this condition is uh, I equals zero and T equals zero. When that happens, we end up with 0 equals E R plus C times E to the exponent minus R times L and T is 0. And that's going to give us 0 equals this equals E over R plus C 
Anything to the zero power is one. Times one equals E over R plus C equals zero. And we want to solve for C. In that case, C is equal to minus E over R. And so now that we solve for C, we put it back into our, our uh, final equation. And then in our initial equation, then that will give us EI equals E over R plus, excuse me, minus, minus, for C now is E over R, so the E minus R over L T, which we can factor out the E R, which gives us E over R, parentheses, 1 minus E to the minus R over L T. And finally, we just toss off all together. I equals E R times one over exponent E R for L times T. That's the answer we saw for for I. And basically, that states that uh, shows that the current gradually builds up towards uh, the limiting value of EO because it can either be E or EO. I can either write this also I can write this because we have as a E equals EO so that that holding we can also write the answer is I equals can also write is I equals E O over R times one minus R to the L minus R L times T. And, and that, that means the limiting value of E, o, e over R uh, for T is approaching infinity. Yeah, which is the which uh, which is the current that would flow if there was no inductance if no inductance was, was present. So basically, that's uh, that's the way it's done. So uh, we're going to do more of these and just going to stay in the higher mathematics moving forward. But I implore folks to get on and start working with me, and uh, especially these young people in college, and uh, we can carry you through no matter what level and just keep soaring and. Uh, Start staying in the higher mathematics now. And uh, all you have to do is email me at robert at mathquad.com. Robert at mathquad.com. And or go on the site and contact me there through contact. And uh, uh, have any questions whatsoever, tell me what the problem is, send it to me, and we'll go ahead and uh, work it out for you. So uh, this is invaluable, and I'm very happy to do it because we definitely have to get uh, this country rolling, people involved in math and science becoming very, very proficient in it. Okay? Well, I hope uh, you were able to uh, grasp this and uh, chew on it a lot, and, uh, and uh, we'll be moving forward as time goes by. Thank you much.